really pursuing all the things that the world had been telling me that if you can have this, do this, be that, then you're living. Then you, you're the man. So at 160 kilometers an hour, he saw the, the gate or the boom to the state park and locked up the brakes and, and kind of lost control of the bike and flicked both of us over the handlebars. And so I landed head first and then rolled over onto my back and skidded on my back for 100 meters. When the ambulance arrived, I was declared dead on arrival. My whole life was just collapsing around me. I was just dissolving into this place of, of brokenness and abandonment and, and feeling this loss of identity. I just I miss being part of something bigger than myself and belonging and, and the camaraderie and, and this adventure. I, and I, I'm sitting on the edge of the rock, you know, waiting, you know, for the fireworks to start and silence. And then the same kind of feeling that kind of bubbles up says, that's who you are. And instantly I was like, he answered my question. Suddenly this lasted and I had this purpose and uh, that, that I, this fulfillment that I can't describe that I just knew that this was the life that I've been searching for my entire life. Now to continue to offer the same experience that we had of, of life, but of living, of living, trusting God for everything and to, be, to, to have the knowledge and the understanding and the simple technology that comes from this sustainable method of agriculture. But along with that, the message of hope of Jesus Christ. It's the simplicity of God that He does these things so intentionally. As those old things pass away, new life bursts forth. And there is a new beginning and a new a redemption, a restoration. So my life, like the life of every crop and every field and the, the soil itself, is the cycle of redemption. And there's this redemptive thread that flows through the cycle of farming and of the food system that, that just drew me in and, and has enlightened me and awakened me and, and opened my eyes to the beautiful reality and the power of, of what God is doing through creation and through every single one of us.